Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Sam's Mailbag. Oh. <laughs> damage to the show. They're getting the coat off. Just yeah. clarify, that is the actual vest. Isn't this it? is the actual yep. vest. It's Brown got. Uh, think, did you go to bed in it with? With. Oh, uh, where'd you find? I couldn't find it. I well, tried she, to put it on the other night. She gave Jim. She being she? Tanya. Well, she, Tanya gave it to Jim. Oh. Did you yeah. go to bed with it and her with this on? <laughs> Some things you can't, you, you don't want to reveal too much, Sam. What would that fetch on eBay, Jim? Yeah, you reckon that vest? That Say it was vest. worn by you in the actual rack. What would it. <laughs> <laughs> on the podium with Michael Voss, that's oh, going to be 10 grand minimum. Don't worry about the podium. Told you not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh. this is from Annabelle of Crib Point. I am 10, and I love James Hurd. Mm. Yes. I wish he was my dad. <laughs> <laughs> he might well be, Annabelle. <laughs> Ah, I tell you what, before he was married, he was a lad about oh, town. No, I tell you, there wasn't many he missed. <laughs> <laughs> Especially down at Crib Point. <laughs> Sam, the next time he is on, he's on now, Annabelle. Can you ask him a question? Who does he think is cuter, Ernie or Bert? I don't know what that means. Here is Ernie. And here is Bert. <laughs> Right. If we can get Ernie back up, I'm not sure where the boys upstairs can get that picture of Ernie back up. But what are you trying? Yeah, really. Oh, no. That'd look be at pretty Ernie. hard to get that back up. No. Yeah. No, if you get it back up, I yeah. think Annabelle's onto something because there's a distinct likeness between Ernie and Jim. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm just patting yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. There oh, it yeah. is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this, this, uh, this is, we've, we've checked this out, this is apparently is true, mm -hmm. uh, from Paul in Adelaide. Sam, noticed in the paper the other day a job going that pays quite well. I thought maybe James might be interested in it. Right. And this is an ad for a fluffer. Oh. <laughs> now, let me tell you, our client is a highly regarded international sexual <laughs> entertainment business based out of Europe with international operations. Their Kuala Lumpur office is expanding and is working with some of the major operators in the Asian region on film and video development. Yes. They require the services of a fluffer to assist with their film star happiness and scene preparation program. They're making pornos and they want someone to crank up the talent. <laughs> They are producing 30 to 40 mo movies per, an per annum oh, and geez. they require the services of somebody to help prepare the major stars in becoming operationally ready for the next <laughs> scene. That is getting hard on oh, you. Yes. You will be expected to have sexual contact with a number of the adult film personnel, including gay male, hetero oh. and homosexual oh, females, oh, MILFs, whatever they, what are they? I don't know. M-I-L-F. Milf. Milf. Yeah, what are they? Not mums. Sure. Not sure. <laughs> Starts with mums. What is it? Not Starts sure. with mums and the rest are... Not Come on, sure. push on. What is the stuff? Push on. <laughs> mums and I-L-F, whatever that is. Yes. And midget stars. Occasional contact... Do you know what milfs are? Come on. <laughs> Occasional contact with animal actors may be required as well. Oh, I was half a chance until you read that bit. Based in Kuala Lumpur, you will work on a fixed term. And when you contract either is it, that's what it is. Would you yes. like to be a fluffer? Well, as I said, I was half a go until you mentioned the animal. <laughs> no, the no, I, don't, I don't think so. I, if I, could put, I won't put that down, but if I could get the kind of science, you could tell me what a milf is. Yes. <laughs> Anyhow, that's, uh, that's a fluffer. Right, oh. Corey of Dubden. Corey was wondering if at any stage in his life, Gary, Gary, has ever been to Russia and if while he was there, he ever got married as a bride. Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's not... Uh, that is... Uh, that's not real, Jim. Gary. I've we'll just got the veil here. Hey, hey, boy, no. Put some of that on. No. Lippy, guess? No. Oh, you don't? No. What, suddenly lost your sense of humour? Yes. <laughs> Not that funny, Jim, I wouldn't have thought. Time you can go down. You want to go down? Yeah. Go. Yeah, go on. All right. Is that what MILF means? No. No. <laughs> no. I'll tell you during the ad break. He mm -hmm. just told me. Who right. did? Him down there. Not two, yes. not two dogs. Yeah, no, two dogs did. <laughs> two dogs. Oh, 
Uh, I never knew that. No, we won't go on that. No, you won't. Now, now this, is a, this is very, very humorous. The only thing to say, who needs friends, Jim? Who oh, needs friends? Me. I don't know what it's about, <laughs> but who <laughs> needs a wife? <laughs> <laughs> Sam's Mailbag, P.O. Box 800, Richard Victoria, 3121, or via email, sams.mailbag at 9.com.au. Very humorous stuff, uh, Samuel.